Quick note here. This is what the printed circuit board will look like once it's finished. You'll see in the video that I did not have the appropriate thickness for this for these tracks. The rest of the video though, you'll see that I didn't make them wide enough, but that's fine. Just maintain the principles and route with the appropriate width for the current expected. Hey, welcome back. So we were routing the printed circuit board. I'm going to delete this track. And it was mostly about copper pores and moving the silk screen around. Now we're in the routing. So do a control W. Make sure we route from the net to the other net. Make sure you're on a nice grid. So like five thousandths of an inch is fine. Hmm. Before we route anything else though, let's do fan out. So fan out allows us to route from a pad to the copper pour below it. So go to ground. For ground traces, the trace width, we would want it to be wider in general. So really we have to look at the current, the, uh, the, the current specification. Let's right click to get out of that. Trace editing and right click to end mode. And let's calculate or figure this out. If you want to try out Altium Designer free trial, just use the link in the description below. So it says that the you're allowed to charge a 3.7 uh, at a rate of 500 milliamperes and 100 milliamperes. That's fine. Okay. And at the USB. Mm -hmm. I would I would design it for one amp here, maybe. So for let's say one amp here, this this could be wrong, right? So I mean I'm not um I'm not making this. I didn't calculate exactly the traces how wide these traces need to be. But let's say we want one amp here for our USB. Actually, let's do two amp here, and the thickness of our copper would be one ounce. The required trace width on the external layer would be 30 mils. Mm. Okay. Let's say one amp. Required trace width at least 11 mils anyway. So let's do 15 thousandths of an inch. Let's get into route mode, hit tab, and then let's change this to something like 15 for the width. Okay. For the gloss effort routed, it can be strong gloss effort neighbor, it can be weak. Um, let's do 15. But see, here's the thing, the max is 10 mils. So Really, we can't even do 15. We need to get out of this mode, go to our design rules, and then for the routing width, let's set this to something like, I don't know, 40 mils or whatever. Click apply, then OK. Then when we do control W and we want to route, there's a more optimized way to do this, but this is the Brute force approach. Click on here. We're at 15 mils. We can route. I click on there. And then, now here's the trick to placing VS. You click to make your vertex. Then you hit the star key to add your via. Then you place your via wherever you want it. Place it. Then you can continue routing on the bottom of the PCB. We don't need to because the entire bottom track the entire bottom polygon is a track. So I just right click and mode and boom, see? We have thermal relief, a connection to the bottom, copper, it's pretty nice. Now, we are still in routing mode. You can hit tab and make sure you are routing from the top layer. Hit plus, there we go. There's gotta be an auto fan out feature somewhere on this thing, but anyway. For this ground, ah, uh, I really feel like this barrel jack 
is going to be able to handle two amperes. Oh. So I'm going to treat this a special way. I could make these tracks 40 mils, you know, I can make a shape. Let's, we'll, we'll try something out. So let's go to this ground here. Click once to place the vertex. Hit the star key on the number keypad there. And then, oops, my mistake. Let's do, let's go back into routing mode and click in the star, place the via, right click. Notice the one to two means that we're going from layer one to layer two. That's pretty cool. Hit tab, let's go back to our top layer. There we go. All right, let's continue. Hit the top and then click once. Hit the star key on the number pad. Click to place our via right click to end that. Where else do we have ground? Here's ground. Let's continue. I hit the right mouse button by mistake. So there we go. Star key to place the via. For this ground, the ground pad is kind of, oh, it's not showing up since I'm not on the top layer. All right, cool. Hmm. Place that, and I made a mistake again. There we go, place our via, right click. Oh, no, 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 big mistake. No, no, escape. Hit tab, top layer, there we go. Let's go there. Now place our vertex. Now we place the star key there. Move our via down a bit. Place the via, right click. Save. For our view, if we want to show uh, a particular net, we can do that, you know. In fact, let's take a look. Go to show connections. You can hide all air wires. And then just go to view again, show net. Then you can select your net. Look at the, look at the instructions at the bottom. Choose electrical object or net. Okay. Net name, GND. See, then it only shows ground. Right click end mode. Let's continue wiring. Now, would I wire from here where it says ground to over here? No, because this is connected to the ground via the through hole. It's connected to the bottom copper port. You can upload your own designs from Altium or Eagle using Altium Online Viewer for free. Check it out in the link below. What does need to connect to ground though is this pad over here. So I will do that. Okay, so I moved the diodes further to the left. Let's go ahead and continue placing tracks. Control W to place. Hit tab on the keyboard. For this one though, I, I'm going to reduce my width a bit to the preferred width of 10 thousandths of an inch. Click. And this ground, I'm on the top layer, I'll go out this way. Click to place. Add a via with the star key on the number pad. Place the via, right click, and we're done with that. Right click is done. Yeah, for this 10 mil spacing, it doesn't like that. I guess I could turn these all off and then just select tracks. But this track, do I want to, oh, this is still 15 mils. Let's do 10 mils, shall we? Thank you. Huh, strange. Okay, now the violation no longer exists. I thought I routed 10 mil. 
Let's see if there are any other things. Ah, there we go. Let's do a copper pour on the top. This is power jack, and we want to accommodate, say, two amperes or something. In general, we can do a nice big fat shape or big traces. Like, say, for instance, we want to do custom and do a polygon pour. Hit tab so that we are choosing a good net. That's the ground net. And then we are on the top layer. Very good. Then click on the pause. Let's do this. Now for the grid, I'm going to change my grid. Hit G on the keyboard while we're in this mode and go with something like a 20 mil grid. And then I define my shape. Now the thing about copper pores is I do them in a rectangular fashion. Because I generally don't care about or have issues with rectangular shapes. At least from my experience. That's not to say that it's the right way to do it. I'm sure everyone has their opinions, but when it comes to ground, for me, I do the rectangular shape. Because it's easier. That's the main, that's the only reason. And it causes no problems for me. If you're working on like a board that's two or three gigahertz and above though, with the clock speeds you're looking at, or not the clock speeds, but the rise times you're looking at for components, then yeah, you might want to turn this into 45 degrees, but until then, I wouldn't worry about it. Unless there's a mechanical issue it could cause. All right, cool. Now we've placed our ground pour. The, the air wire is saying to connect these two grounds together. But what it doesn't realize is that we're going to place vias to connect this top copper ground to the bottom ground. So let's place via. Okay, hit tab. See, this is bringing up errors because it's saying automatically in, in real time that this V is violating spacing. So let's choose our net and ground. And then through from layer one to layer two, great. You can choose a template if you want. I won't, I probably won't. Diameter for the whole 50 mils. Ooh. Oh, the whole size is 28 mils, good. Let's click on here. And see, see how these errors disappeared? Because now it knows that it's on the ground. That's nice. Uh, I'm just going to select this. Select this via. Turn everything off via select via only. Delete it. 